Hey all, um, I'm, what you're about to see is a um, battle after action report of uh, Brickcourt Manor final episode, episode, second game in the um, first campaign of um, We Stand Alone. So there's three campaigns. This is the D-Day one. This is the second battle in it. The Americans lost the first one. Um, but I, as I was putting the video together, I realized I had shot in vertical in the first video. So... I did a bunch of setup stuff. I'm not gonna go over that um, just because time and it's all boards all torn up now. But so you're gonna see an after action report of Breckcourt Manor final episode. It's on this board. I'm using my first X map ever. Um, basically, the Americans are coming in, have to take this manor. There are Germans in here, and there were Germans in here in three gun positions. They couldn't move unless they broke, um, and they had to come over here. So you'll see it. Here we go. Thanks. Okay, end of turn one, the tanks and uh, troops riding on top got this close, whoops, got that close to that uh, that machine gun. Uh, shots from, four shots from the machine guns, from the troops on top, from the ordnance, nothing hit them. Of course, he fired and he didn't hit anything either, so everyone's batting zero. Uh, that mortar, mortar team moved up. The two other Shermans with teams moved up there. So they're making good progress. And the Panzerfaust moved up there, and everyone else stayed in there. And I have to remember, I have the Germans have a sniper. He has to set up within two hexes of this one. So here, here, that's true, you could set up there. He has to have positive TEM, which this does have. The Bocage does. Hmm. I'll have to read that. And then these guys are here, and I believe this, I need to check that, that's light wood, so it's degrading and not blocking. All right, that's it, that's turn one. We'll catch you when we're back with turn two. All right, here we go, end of turn two. Oh, man, I really gotta bring that sniper up. I don't think it really matters, you can't hit anybody right now anyway. Though I could bring him up, either. I gotta check if he can go in the bocage. Uh, okay, so this guy, fired, the Germans got the first turn, so he fired on this leader, and he got him. Well, he didn't get the leader, but he got the both squads up top broke or shook. So they're sitting back here. The tank moved up and did shake him. Uh, this tank moved up right next to him. He fired on him, missed him. Um, then these guys fired, shook him, and then these guys fired and uh, eliminated the half squad there. So that's empty. Um, I'll probably send a Scooby My Hero into there and then move these guys over. Um, mortar team moved here. Um, these tanks moved up to here. They'll cross the hedge next turn. It'll take them full nine movement to do that. The Faust moved here. Um, Germans get first movement. They'll, uh... Hmm. Germans get first... If the Germans get... Well, let's check initiative before I'm done. Everyone here shifted over so that they can't be spotted by the uh, mortar. That's been a little probably metagaming. I don't know if I would have thought of that. But that's the way it goes. What I want to check is can both these tanks move at the same time and get on this side of the bocage and no way he couldn't fire on them. Let's see who's going to go first. And I need to remember to use that sniper. Now I can get that sniper up here, um, somewhere in here, and shoot at those guys. All right. Here we go. White is German. So happened last time, 6-3. I think it was 6-4 last time. Germans go first. He will fire this Faust on a tank. That'll be my first thing. All right, that's that. First, I got to rally. These guys here can self-rally. Um, I have to see what that does, what it takes to do that. It's a special scenario rule. Normally, you can't. Normally, you need a hero. And the Americans will rally as well, hopefully. All right, that's it for turn two. We'll see you at the end of turn okay. three. Breckhorn to Manor uh, final episode. Turn three is over. And Mortar moved up here. He's right now he's really ineffective. He can't do much. Uh, oh, leader has to spot. Mm, I guess I could spot this guy. Um, that's what happened over here. We had a lot of firing, a lot of ineffectiveness. They are shaken. They can't self rally. So. What I really should probably do, and I should have done this at the beginning, is probably put this decisive guy, who can only do it once, but can put two guys on the... He could have fired the Faust twice. These tank moved over here. 
these guys all fired at each other. I forgot to count the tree-lined road, but I did it for both sides. This guy shot a, a Faust at him, but he missed. But these guys had to jump off. Everyone passed their morale check, I believe. I guess I don't have to stack all these guys now. I'm not used to these huge hexes. These are the guys with these huge machine guns, and they're not going to use them at all. Um, so there's that. This guy's got to decide if I should probably put that on top. This guy's got a skill. I should put it on top. What happened on this side? Well, again, a lot of ineffective firing. He's still good, though I did move these guys in here. Not my hero, though. Should have moved my hero, Scooby, to take that. So these guys are going to take that machine gun and fire it at this guy um, in the next turn. This tank needs to haul, haul you-know-what, so I don't know. The problem is it takes nine to move up here. they got ten movement, so... Either way, it's going to take two turns to get up here. So, uh, probably go over here so they can be on this side. This guy did a, an ASL move and moved back here so no one can fire on him until like the last minute and then he'll move in there. That's not cheating, it's fine. You wouldn't do that, but this way they don't get fired at. Um, so that's a gamey thing there, I apologize. Um... Next turn, the question is, is what's going to happen? These guys are going to take here and hopefully fire on this guy. Hopefully they'll get the initiative and fire on this guy. And these guys can move on up and start going through this building. But let's roll for initiative and see what happens. I still haven't used my sniper. I don't really have a good place for it. He has to be within two hexes of here. So he can be here. and he, So he can be in this. It just has to be a positive TEM. So I'm not really sure where to put them here, here, when these guys start moving up here. I could put them in here. He could fire on these guys in here, that leader. I may do that. He can't move once you put him in there. So, sorry if I... So I may put him in here to fire on this leader and stuff. Kind of weaken that unit up. All right, that's that. We'll chat at you after turn four. All right, the machine guns are cleared out. The right side is clear. This is, oh, by the way, this is the end of turn four. The right side is cleared out. Uh, uh, this guy was taken out with an overrun and then was moved up to here. So the wounded hero, Scooby. Come on, Scooby, I need you to last. I knocked out my other hero in the last scenario. So, but this guy's fired on him and did nothing to him. These two guys could not hit each other. So, this tank moved here, so he'll move up here for nine and then move up here as quick as he can. These guys will move. Oh, maybe oh, they can't. Anyway, they got to move. I'm just going to leave that shaking guy here, and this guy's going to move here. One for. I'm going to take this machine gun with us. Do I have to dismantle that? Probably do. I probably have to move it over to that level. I scored a hit. Shoot, I don't remember. So since I didn't do any damage, I'm going to say they lost it. So they don't have the machine gun anymore. So he's going to go here and go one. So when you use an enemy machine gun, if you don't score a hit, you can't use it anymore. Nothing happens, so I'm going to say he didn't score a hit. So, hold on. Yeah. I don't remember, so they're, gonna, they're not going to have it. So they're going to move there for next turn, so turn five. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And turn six. And then they can move in. Okay. All right, so that's what happened over here. This tank needs to get over there. This guy shook, and he's just going to stay there. I'm not going to worry about him. Um, he's taking out this they finally were able to fire on this guy here this does not block line of sight I think they should but it doesn't so um, this is a covered gun pit from back in the day but they are destroyed and they're all gone so but the trench is there anyway they fired in here and shook them and they acquired them which is something the American mortars get to do on direct fire he moved up here and did nothing Here's pretty cool. So these guys moved here. The sniper came out and fired. Did nothing. Um, these guys fired on him. Did nothing. So they're there. That's all they could do there. I don't think actually that is all they needed to do there. They could have kept moving around, I think. Yeah, because they went one, two, three, four, five, six. They should have moved over here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. They should have moved over here and they could have jumped into melee. Can you jump off to melee when you disembark? I need to disembark these guys. These guys, they have the speedy skill. 
They jumped over here and used four. One, two, three, four. They had four more left. So they went one, two, took. This guy used his decisive skill that I got him. Adjacent. Moving. Ba, ba, ba. Nothing. Miss. Then they jumped into the building. They're right here. These guys then fired on them in the building. That's going to be tougher, but they, they made it. Nothing. So... Probably, yeah. So, that's that. Um, I'm going to roll for initiative now for the next turn. Germans have got it every one but the first one. And the Germans have it again. So, Germans have initiative turn five. I'll play that another day. That's that for that, and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya. All right, this, this is ridiculous here. Um... So these guys moved up, this tank moved up, assault moved and fired on this guy. Check this guy out. Four acquired markers. We did reduce them to a half squad. They're shaken. Um, because they were shaken full squad, I did hit them. These guys were all moving, so that was reduced. Um, these guys all moved into this one. They did melee the sniper out. This guy overran this guy, killed him, took him out. And then fire, fire, fire. <laughs> this guy's, we got a shaking half squad in there. I'm keeping them in there because, you know, there's no need to move them out. Oh, my leader did shake on the sniper fire. The sniper took a, didn't kill him, just wounded him, which was crazy because all the roll. But, um, so he'll need to rally. And we're going into turn seven, last turn. Let's see who gets the initiative. Why is German? Oh, the Americans finally get in this year. But I think, well, let's just play this out here. So, American initiative. Who wants to do the job? How about these guys? All these guys are gonna move into here. And then he's shaken, so he's automatically disqualified. Or not. That is the end of the game. That is the first time I think I've ever taken out every single person. That is the end of turn seven. It took me all seven turns. Oh, I didn't rally this guy. So he'd rally, he's got a six, and does he get a plus two? Let's, let's learn together, shall we? Oh, the wrong one. side so um so it's a plus two if rally so it's an I need to roll an eight or less see if that leader would rally for this big victory he does so, oh, and I don't know if I said it earlier, but the sniper did take out the hero, so I have now killed two heroes, two games in a row. Sorry, Scooby. Brother, that's embarrassing. All right, so that's that. American victory. Woohoo! So the Americans now get three fate points. So I'll need to find a way to mark that. Germans kept one, so that's good. So they have one for the next, uh, next game. And neither one of my heroes have survived, so... So you could add abilities if you survive. So that's that. Uh, that was pretty fun. There was a lot involved here. There's tank riders. There's uh, firing at snipers in buildings. There was um, spotting with button vehicles. I don't have the button thing on here. When I'm playing solo, I, I need to change it. The game assumes everything's open unless you say otherwise. So I need to start playing that way. So when I get against some real opponents face to face, I will have that because that is the rule of the game and I'm cool with that. Um, I just need to remember that. So everything's open, but this game I was playing, everything was buttoned unless I said otherwise. Um, when you're open, you get a, you can spot better. This was funny. Uh, I think I did everything right for the most part. There's a couple of things I did wrong here, I think. Um, moving this guy in here was good. It prolonged the game, but, I mean, he was shaking. He couldn't rally. There was only one leader. Um, once this guy shook here, he was essentially done. Because these Americans had already moved in here. You can't move towards known enemy. I let him move in here, even though there was an enemy here or here. Because he couldn't see him, moved in. I don't know how that is. So that's the game. Um, another good one. Really like this. So that was Breckworth Manor final episode. 
Um, next one is the way to Carrington. The way to Carrington. So, and that's only on part of a map. Part of map. 1516. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and we'll chat after to you when we do the next game. See ya. Okay, and um, let's. We're gonna end the video like I started it. I noticed the last thing I filmed, and I've already taken apart some of the board. I filmed a vertical as well. So, whew, I got some stuff on my mind. Okay. So now I'm gonna have to sum up a little bit. What I did was I said after turn six, and then I just showed turn seven. So basically after turn six, uh, these guys had all moved up. During turn six, all these guys acquired this one lone. So this full squad that was shaken broke down to a half squad. A lot of these guys moved, so there was bad shooting. I meleeed the sniper in here, so he was out, so no one could do any firing on him. It was all these tanks and our mortar over here. Um, and look at all those acquired markers. Uh, so the next turn he was gonna be dead. So. Uh, basically, I rolled it. The Americans actually got initiative finally in turn seven, and they jumped in here and took out the last squad. So, half squad. So that was the Americans took it. So the Americans win. The Americans get three fate points. The Germans kept one fate point for the next uh, game, which will be um, the way to Carentan. This is a five-turn campaign, I believe. Oh, no, am I wrong? Is it on the four? No, it is a five. So anyway, so now we're going to Carentan, playing on 15 and 16. That was that. First time I ever wiped out everyone on a board when I've played. Um, very fun. Uh, some little mistakes I made, uh, the, timing my movement, lots of things in this scenario. Tank riders, uh, you have to ride tanks, so you gotta get across the board. So lots of tank riders, snipers, spotting a sniper, spotting with tanks. Um, Firing with mortars direct, that sort of stuff. Uh, pretty cool. I, I've been, I'm enjoying it. Um, if there was so much happening here. I feel like I might have done something wrong, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, anyway, so that's that. Uh, sorry, I kept filming vertical. Thanks all for watching. The next one is, like I said, the way to Carrington. I'm not sure when I'll get that in. Since it is 1560, I might be able to play it on my computer, which sometimes can mean I can get it played a little faster, just because I, if I'm traveling. January is crazy, so uh, I, anyway, it's crazy. We'll talk to you. Fun game, and uh, again, this is out of the We Stand Alone book. Okay, see y'all.